Hi, this is Jim McCullen, author of Control Your Day. In this short video, I'm going to take you through the configuration options for Outlook 2010 uh, to make sure you're set up correctly for Control Your Day. Um, if uh, you're using a different version of Outlook, it should be similar, like 2007 or 2013. I do intend to do some videos on those versions uh, in the near future. So this relates to Chapter 11 in the book, Control Your Day, which is available on Amazon.com. So let's go ahead and go through uh, some of the settings here that you want to look at. So we'll start in mail. And as we go down mail, there's a couple of things that we want to change or make sure are set properly. First off, message arrival. My suggestion to you is that you uncheck these boxes. Uh, you don't want a sound or an alert every time you get a new email. We get way too many email messages today. And uh, you, know, you want to be the, the one that controls when you go to look at those messages, not not when they come in. Also, the desktop alerts can be very, very dangerous if you're doing a customer presentation or um, you know something else where you're sharing your screen and an email message comes up with something you don't necessarily want everybody else to see. Uh, that can be a problem. So my recommendation is turn them off. Come down a little bit further. Um, save messages. I like to save my messages uh, after a certain amount of time. Save my forwarded messages. Just a good idea so that if something happens uh, and you are working feverishly on some message, you've got it. Send messages. Uh, a couple of things here. Delete meeting requests and notifications from inbox after responding. Good idea so it doesn't cloud up your, uh, um, your CYD folders. Tracking. My suggestion here is that you do not put on receipt confirmation for every email message. I can't stand it when, and I know there's just certain users out there that send me email that they have it turned on as a default. And it comes up and it prompts me, do you want to confirm this receipt? Um, and you can do this right here where you can say, ask each time whether you want to send a read receipt. I don't necessarily want somebody else knowing when I'm reading their messages and when I choose to respond them. So, so two pieces here. I would suggest you uncheck these boxes unless you have a real reason why you need to know somebody picked up that message. And I would check this box so you know who on the other side is checking to see when you're reading your messages. So those are two good ones. Um, if we come down a little bit more, I think that's everything in this section. Yes. Okay, on calendar, I suggest, let's go back up to the top here. I suggest you uncheck Sunday and Saturday from the work week. That way when you do follow up next week in Control Your Day in your uh, folders or your messages, uh, it'll follow up through a Friday rather than through a Saturday. And what that means is that your items will come due for the follow-up this week on Friday and not Saturday and fall into the following week. So definitely recommend that. I don't think there's anything else on messages. Nope. I mean on calendars. We're not going to touch contacts, tasks, notes, and journal or search. Those are all uh, not relevant to the control your day topic. Mobile, I am looking into that now and trying to figure out more ways to integrate mobile into control your day. So look for videos on that in the future. Advanced, a couple of things in here. Um, Outlook start and exit. You definitely want to change your folder here. It's, it defaults to the inbox. You do not want Outlook opening up to your inbox. You don't use it anymore if you're using control your day. You use your CYD folder, your do today folder. Um, I choose my do today. You could do your today's focus, your do today, or your CYD. It's up to you, but definitely recommend you change it. Auto archive, turn it off. Um, if you're auto archiving messages every 14 days, you're going to be pulling stuff out of your CYD folders that you don't necessarily want to. Uh, so my recommendation is turn that off or may, you know, set it to longer dates if you absolutely have to. And then what else is there? Send and receive. This is another good one. Highly recommend you uncheck send immediately when connected. It is so, it saved me a number of times where I've created a message, I've accidentally hit send and I wasn't ready to send it yet. Either I had somebody on copy I didn't want to or I missed somebody on copy or I had some wrong text in the message. It gives you that opportunity to have a last chance to review it before you hit send and receive. And I think that's it for that section. It is. Customize ribbon. Um, the one you want to do here is make sure you've got the developer tab checked. That allows you to get in to set up the macro to do your auto filing. Um, your IT department may have you blocked from doing that. You don't necessarily have to do the auto filing. You can manually file your completed messages, but the macro makes it much easier. So if you can check that box, uh, recommend it so you can set up the macros. Quick access toolbar, this is really important. Um, if you go over to the left-hand side, usually it'll default to popular commands. But um, you want to make sure you set it to all commands. 
And then you'll see this message options over on the left hand side. You'll just click add and move it over to here. This is what allows you to get into that message options screen where you can enter a contacts um, text, which is actually your next action. Uh, so you can ac enter your next action right in that screen. You can also set your categories. This is one of the things about Outlook 2010 that drove me crazy. Um, in 2007, you could right click on any message and you had the option to go to the message options prompt. Microsoft, for some reason, removed that. I have no idea why, but it's it, it, now it's an extra step. You've got to add this to your toolbar. You've got to go up to your toolbar and click message options. Drives me crazy. Um, but anyways, that's how you get that in there. The add-ins, the only thing I want to say about add-ins, this doesn't have anything to do with control your day, but I've found that the iCloud Outlook add-in causes a problem in Outlook. What happens is if you are sitting in your Outbox and you try to send messages, they will get stuck in your Outbox. And I've done a bunch of research on the web and everything points to this iCloud add-in. So I, rem I disabled it and that problem goes away. So if you're getting messages stuck in your Outbox when you're viewing your Outbox, Look for this iCloud Outlook add-in and disable it, and I think that'll solve your problem. And then finally, in the Trust Center, we're going to go down and we're going to click on Trust Center Settings. We're going to go over to the left-hand side and choose Macro Settings, and we want to set notifications for all macros. That's going to allow us allow Outlook to run the macro that does your auto filing. Again, your IT department may block this, um, in which case you can manually file those messages. But if you turn turn this on, then when Outlook starts, it's going to come up and say warning, uh, macros are enabled for Outlook, and you just say yes, but it will notify you of that first. And then um, when you exit Outlook, the CYD autofiler will move everything that's completed from your inbox to your inbox pro. So that wraps up this video in only six minutes and 49 seconds. Uh, I hope you found some value out of it. Uh, check us out at www.controlyourday.net, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.